But I asked for a recess of just It's all right, minutes. Mr. Chair. Yes, yes, yes. Why did President Duterte ask for a quick break? Was he nervous about Risa Hontiveros, like the Kakampinks claim? That's fake news again, and I'll tell you the reason why. Do you assume responsibility for the death of Kian De Los Santos? Mr. No. Chair? No. How about Ala, si Carl Ala, Ala, mo, ma'am, yes. no, before you rumble on those many things. No, 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 I'm not rambling, Mr. Chair. Very specific yung mga tanong De, ko. Specific ang law. Guilt is personal. Now, what is guilt is personal? This phrase reflects a legal principle which means only the person who committed the crime can be held accountable for it. Responsibility cannot be transferred to others. And of course, Risa doesn't know this since she hasn't studied law like Duterte has. Tanong ka muna ng abogado. Okay lang po. Kayang-kaya kong magtanong sa abogado. Sige, tanong ka muna ngayon before we proceed. No, no, no. I already prepared these questions with my legislative staff. Guilt is personal. Yes, it's very personal. So... Oh my God! <laughs> you know, <laughs> Mom, uh, can I ask for a recess of just It's all right, minutes? Mr. Chair. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, a hearing suspended. Can the chair talk to the senator? So now you know. The reason Duterte requested a recess was to save her from further humiliation because of her ignorance. The Kakampinks tried to trick everyone into believing Duterte was scared of Risa. Little did they know, they were the ones being fooled by the spliced videos Risa posted on her TikTok to make herself the main character. Honestly, I don't blame her. I'd probably do the same in her shoes. But come on, Kakampinks, do your research next time or let us DDS educate you. Uh, hindi mo nakuha yung ano yung policy ng presidente. Nakuha ko po policy ng I was talking ako. about the policy. I take full responsibility. Yung sinabi ko na war on drugs. You said, Pero sir, you can hold me responsible for any specific death. crime. Yes, sir. You spoke Hindi about. Po yan. You spoke about specific saka, crimes. Kung sabihin ko, I will take full responsibility. Magdating tayo sa korte, hindi naman tatanggapin yan. Well, Mr. Chair, and if the resource person could keep his uh, volume and pitch to... Uh, I mean, who wouldn't be stressed talking to a senator who can't keep up, like a clueless fifth grader? The innocent lives lost in the drug war were the result of illegal actions by policemen, which is why the one who killed Kevin Santos was convicted and sentenced to 40 years because he did not follow President Duterte's orders. Justice was served. So I don't understand why Risa has been so obsessed with attacking the Dutertes for the last two years. If she truly cared about the innocents killed during the drug war, why is she silent about the innocent lives lost to drug addicts every day? Why doesn't she address that Manila is currently the most dangerous city in Southeast Asia, with Quezon City and Cebu City also in the top 10? Meanwhile, Davao City remains the second safest and the second cleanest city in whole Southeast Asia. Dutertes are doing a great job, and majority of Filipinos know that. So I don't understand why most senators, especially Risa Hontiveros, are still fixated on the previous administration's drug war when it was a successful operation, with 1.4 million drug addicts surrendering and the country's crime rate dropping by 73%. It wasn't perfect, but that significant decrease in crime is impressive, something this current administration has failed to do. Ako alam ko, duman ako, prosecutor, mayor, presidente, alam ko ang trabaho ko. Ah, yes, salamat tayo, Mr. Chair. Hindi ka nagdala ng sudad eh. You never had a chance to... No! Hindi ka nagdala ng sudad eh. You never had a chance to solve the problem of the community. Silence, please. So, mas okay pong patayin sila kesa impreso sila. Wala mo pakialam dyan sa criminal, ma'am. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yun ang gusto nilang mangyari. Doon sila. Doon sila sa impirno. At doon tayo magkita. Well, Mr. Chair, wala namang jurisdiction ng Senado sa impirno. Dito lang sa bansa natin pwede tayo mag-investigate. At doon tayo pupunta. Well, uh, wala po akong ambisyon pumuntang impyerno pa. Pero Mr. Chair, ang punto lang ito, ang, ang punto lang... Oh my God! <laughs>
tapusin natin ito hanggang bukas. Huwag na tayong umalis dito. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President. Salamat kayo, Mr. Yes, sir. Chair. Tapos, so, so, tapusin talaga natin ito. Talagang tapusin natin ito dito ngayon. Huwag tayong umalis dito sa foot hanggang umaga. Umabot man tayo hanggang umaga, bukas. Huwag tayong umalis dito. Tapusin natin dito. Okay, Mr. President, we are prior priority. That's it for this episode, you guys. Hope you learned something. This is Amore Powers, the new DDS content creator who's here to shake things up. Peace out.